What is poppin' party, people? It's Mikey124, and I'm back with another gameplay video. Today we got ourselves a little bit of Black Ops 2. We're playing some Team Deathmatch on Standoff. This was a gameplay I got from the other night. Uh, it's actually not the best gameplay I got from the other night. Uh, I plan on posting COD Black Ops uh, 1 and 2 until Black Ops 3 comes out weekly over here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new, subscribe if you're into Call of Duty, uh, you, you're excited for the new Black Ops, or you just want to see some old Black Ops footage, because I'm going to be posting it regularly. And uh, this is the first COD Black Ops 2 that I've posted over here in quite a while. So uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, if you enjoy the video. And um, yeah, I guess let's just get to it. So... Uh, I wanted to discuss COD Black Ops 3, uh, what my concerns are for it, and if my excitement level has peaked or is going up at all. And uh, it's kind of, it, it kind of is, I am kind of getting more excited for the game, uh, playing Black Ops 1 and 2 the past couple nights. Um, I really only have had two sessions of each game, I played both games like one time in the past uh, week, and um, I stockpiled a couple gameplays of each. This is actually not the best gameplay that I, I got of uh, Black Ops 2 the other night. I, I think the very next game, I had a, a bigger KD game and, and less deaths. And, uh, I, I, I've been having some pretty good good luck on this game, actually, as of late. Um, and Black Ops 1 as well, too. I, I think I have two more gameplays with that stockpiled up. So I'll probably play them again once uh, I after I post those two games. Because uh, I don't want to stockpile too much gameplay because I don't think I'm going to do like a, a montage or anything like that over here, or a clip show. Maybe I will if um, if I do start stockpiling them a lot, but I thought they'd be harder to get gameplays in these games. But uh, these COD Black Ops games are really like riding a bicycle. Uh, you really don't forget how to play them. You don't forget the maps and the lines of sight and uh, the pattern traffic in, in this game. This is honestly one of my favorite COD maps of all time. Uh, I think it flows really well. I like uh, pretty much all like the, the traffic patterns and the lines of sight in this map and also just like the feel for it, the way it, it moves and flows is really nice. It's a great map. Um, but yeah, I am here to discuss Black Ops 3, so uh, I guess I will try and stop talking about Black Ops 2 and 1 as much uh, and just enjoy the background footage. So. Black Ops 3, I have a few concerns, uh, most of them being all the same concerns that everybody else has, pretty much. I am concerned about the special abilities, uh, big time. I played a little bit of Destiny, and I honestly got burnt out on it really fast. The story mode was fantastic, and I had a lot of fun with that, but then once I realized that the only way to like progress in the story is to get like armor that contains light, and the only way to get that armor or, or weapons or whatever pieces of equipment that contain light, light is an attribute in that game, um, you had to grind a lot. You had to either play the same levels over and over and over and over again that you already played, or play online where uh, it was just not fair. There were too many one-shot, one-kill things in that game. Uh, the snipers and the shotguns were were one shot one kills and uh then the special abilities and that's what i was getting at so these special abilities uh reset like every so often you didn't have to earn them they were just given to you and uh there were three different classes of characters to pick in that and each cat each class of character i think had two sets or two of each of the special abilities uh, the guy that I used was called the blade dancer so like I would get a knife and then you could run around and like knife people and then his other ability was a pistol that was a one shot one kill and both of these you had a buttload of health while you're in these modes and uh, you have a one shot one kill in your hands too so you could go around knifing three four people when your special is up or shoot three people with your your special pistol and uh, you just got three kills so this is cool for the person who gets the ability, but when it's not earned, when it's just something that's given to you, it really takes away the value of it, and it really takes away uh, the skill level of the game. Uh, if everybody's just given these overpowered abilities, it kind of makes it unfair for the players who are good, the players who are on like a 5, 10, 15 kill streak, to just come around the corner and run into somebody who's got a special ability and can blast you in one shot and ruin your kill streak and ruin your gameplay. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know why they do this, try and level the playing field, try and make it more noob friendly. When if you ask me, COD 4 is as noob friendly as any other COD in, in the series. You start with an MP5 and an M16, which are two of the best guns in COD history. So I don't get why they need to add uh, things that can provide 
easier kills for, for players when I feel like the game is easy enough. COD Ghost people dropped in one second and there was no exo movement. There was no boosting around and dashing around, which I just feel like is really overdone. I feel like they did that in Advanced Warfare. I feel like Titanfall did it perfect. I really enjoyed the wall running in Titanfall and um, it made sense. You're a pilot. There's these giant like 10 ton titans falling out of the sky and it's a futuristic like in outer space uh, shooter game so again it made sense but uh yeah i don't know i'm concerned about it in black ops 3 so i hope you guys like this video i totally failed on a nuclear i think i could have gotten one because i got my 20 kill streak white when i got my second blackbird and uh yeah i just totally squandered if i could have stayed alive right there i might have been able to squeeze out 10 more kills but i uh, hope you guys like the video i got another black ops 2 video planned for next week and if it's not black ops 2 it'll be black ops 1 but uh Stick, to, stick with the channel. Subscribe if you're new. I plan on doing a lot of Black Ops over here until Black Ops 3 comes out. So, again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, leave me a like, a subscription, comment in the section below, and uh, get at me on Twitter, too. I will be in touch, uh, and I'll be back with another video soon. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.